Lauren and Jeremy. Um, but should we get started or? Yeah, okay, you have to we leave. Have a yeah, we forum. have a quorum. Um, but yeah, so I, I was thinking we could review the, I mean, all the things that were on the agenda, review the materials that Cameron shared, talk about the presentation and the meeting on Monday, and then just, yeah, any other report back from committees and the um, homelessness task force meeting tomorrow, Lauren sent wondering if we could, if we could join. Um, anything else that we should make sure we talk about today? Okay. Um, so if folks want to pull up the minutes and review them real quick, I always attach them, but I never review them. Here we go. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Thanks, Michael. Um, Helen, do you want a second? Yeah, I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Um, thank you all. Um, all right. So um, let's dive into the draft documents for the program review. Okay, so I sent, I just sent them out. Sorry about that. Uh, I thought I had, and then I did it. So a um, couple questions I had. If you pull up the one that says the stipend policy, that's the big one. The other two are basically just the registration forms that say like um, one is the registration form and then one is the attendance record, which I need. So I was trying to figure out, so I'll go back to try to figure it out. So our initial idea that I talked to with finance was we'll just use the minutes as like the thing I can approve, right? But to me, that's a lot of work on my end to try to like validate who is there and what's going on. And it would take time. And also some people aren't, some meetings aren't as good at getting minutes done as others. And so the timing on that's really weird. So what Essex did and what I think is a really good idea so um, would be to have either the staff support or the chair each meeting write out who on their board is there that wants to receive the stipend, right? So basically just saying who is there so that I have that, it can be handed to me and then I can code it and approve it and give it to finance. So it's done as like a holistic thing and not a one by one thing, which I think is a better way to handle that. Um, so thanks for Essex for thinking that through. That was really helpful. Um, so when we look at the program policy, um, I had a couple questions. The first one is that I was trying to go through notes and I swear to you, I have written $30 and $50 down and I could not, con I don't know which one is the most accurate or up to date. Did y'all approve 50 or 30 for per person? I, I was remembering 50. Oh, sorry, so Michael. That's what I was going to say. Okay. Woo, great. Yeah, we should like write it down and then like turn over your paper to see what everyone else wrote down. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so $50 per meeting. So the process would be that they, folks who want to receive the stipend need to complete a W-9. Um, that has to be an annual uh, updated document. Then they need to fill out a stipend registration form, which basically gives somebody's full name, 
what board or whatever they sit on, their phone number, their email address. And this is just a way that we have a signature and we have a W9 on file so we can get him paid. So um, forms and W9 should be turned into the city manager's office for filing and storage to receive the stipend payment, submit your meeting attendance, staff representatives or the chair of the committee must complete an attendance record after each meeting or on a monthly basis, whichever period is longer. So that is so like, if somebody meets every other week, like y'all do, instead of turning it in after every single meeting, it would turn you, would, so like Shana, you would turn it in at the end of the month. So it would cover two meetings, right? And is that one of the attachments that you sent of like what that looks like? And okay, sorry, mm -hmm. great. So then, the city manager's office will review the attendance records, the copy code, and approve the reimbursement and facilitate the finance department to pay through the city's warrant process. Um, concerns regarding attendance should be directed to staff or committee chairs. Uh, attendance must be verifiable by official minutes. Participants are only paid for the meetings they attend. Eligibility for stipends. Any appointed and elected member of a city Montpelier board commission or committee that meets the routine schedule. Excluded from the stipend program is employees of the city and city council members, zoning board and planning commission members who already receive stipends. And I made a note in here that I have to confirm that. I'm 95% sure those all receive funding. I know y'all do, <laughs> but I don't know who else does. So I'm just, Letting you know that needs to be double checked. Then program start and continued enrollment. The city of Montpelier program will begin July 1, 2022. Uh, I, for some reason, wrote the date twice in there. So I'll resend this out. It's good to check your work. And stipend payments may be made retroactively to July 1, 2022, once an IRS form W-9 is submitted. So like if they had a meeting on July 1 and they didn't get it turned in. Anyway, just basically right. saying right. you can get paid from starting July 1 and you can retroactively fill that out and get paid. Um, we won't pay you once we get the thing. So um, and just talking about those are July 1, 2021. That's yeah, I know. I, I just, oh, okay. I just, just wanted to that. make sure. No, yeah. I just noticed. I never noticed these things. So it's helpful to read it out loud. I yeah. think that's the, the issue. Um, there is no chart deleting that. I'll send this out again. All payments made through accounts payable from the finance department, IRS regulations pertaining to the 1099 form apply. The finance department will issue a 1099 per IRS regulations for the amount paid greater or equal to $600 in the calendar year. So that's where we were getting sort of caught up before where we, I didn't know what the threshold was. It's $600 mm -hmm. a year. And so that we don't have any control over that would have to be per the person's own discretion. If they're going to have more than $600, they don't want tax impacts. They'll have to just stop claiming them. Right. And so, um, I, we connect, uh, Essex had this in their um, policy and I stole it uh, because it was useful. Um, you can call Vermont 211 or their number to uh, talk about tax impacts. So that was a good resource, I thought. So that's really the whole thing. Um, did, I, did I forget something? A couple quick questions. First of all, thank you. This is great. <laughs> um, was wondering at the purpose at the beginning, if it should be instead of is the purpose is to provide financial stipends. I wonder if it's to make available financial stipends for anyone appointed or elected. Um, Cause like we're not transitioning to paying every single member. We're making them available upon request. Um, and then just like log logistically, um, for, so sorry if I missed this. So like, it's, I assume you're requiring the person to be reporting to you that they attended meetings. Like how is that being tracked so that it's not creating 
a burden? Is there like some easy monthly or every couple of months? Well, so I <laughs> attach the attendance record. Oh, okay. So what, what I'm asking for everyone to do is the, to like Shana, at the end of this meeting would write down all your names and say, I, they are here and then submit that to me. Okay. So you're if, getting something, you're not like tracking down like recordings of meetings or something. Okay. Right. To me, that was like, so that was a huge issue. And I was talking to finance about it a lot. Like if it's up to the minutes, I'd have to search through all the minutes and then I'd have right. to write down who is getting the stipend. And then I would have to do that. Right. And so to me, having the chair write down, here are the five people who are receiving stipends on my board. They, I certify that they were here. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. Great. And I'm sorry, just wanting to say that back to you, but slightly differently. It's like, here are the people who are at the meeting, regardless of whether or not they receive, I may not have no idea if they receive stipends, right? It's just like the committee's present. And then you, you check that with the stipend list. Hmm. I could do that. Because this says do not include, yeah, members who have not completed the necessary IRS form W-9. And it's also like, if we're also doing it retroactively, it feels like it should be all of the attendance. And then you guys check it with the list. Okay, I can do that. Right, because take... I feel like that way, if like people are submitting it without letting the chair know, or, yeah, or whatever, it's just like. And then also, so maybe people don't know who is receiving it and who is not. Right. Okay, I'll take that part out. And then I'm also wondering, like, would this just be easier to be an online form? So no, which, like, which, part oh, sorry. Is, which part is coming out? Uh, the idea that um, we would only ask the chair or the staff member to write down the attendance of people receiving the stipend. So where is that on this in the policy? It's in the attendance record document. Hold on, let me just look. So I can, for the minute, for the purpose of the minutes. Okay, attendance record document, okay. Mm -hmm. So Shana, yes, it probably would be easier, but then I would have to assume that everyone had access to that. And I think that that is also not maybe very equitable. Yeah. And so just with it being remote, this would be like writing it down and then sending it in once a month. And, or, or could we email it in too? Is that like, yeah, just thinking as a remote committee. Let me put that in there. Eligible, blah, 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 payment, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, where to, where to send the form. Attendance record. Attendance records. I will put attendance records and be submitted in writing or via email to their staff support or the city manager directly. My only other logistics question was if people need to do their W-9s, is there some easy way to like ping that? Like if everyone's doing it at different times and stuff, whenever they're registering, like how are you all going to track? Is it just like they stop getting paid all of a sudden? They're like, oh, I must have hit my year. <laughs> or like, is there, gonna, is there some automatic way to remember to like ping on someone's calendar? Like your W-9's up or I don't know how you track that for other people, but I think with this, um, I think we would just send out a reminder each July one that says resubmit your W-9. Yeah, everyone onto that calendar, even if they signed up. Because mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. it won't impact anyone to re-up it. Uh, like it will not change anything. It's mostly to keep addresses update yeah. updated. Okay. The information doesn't really change except addresses. So I could also say... It is recommended that a new W-9, well, we'll say it is required maybe, 
required to update your W9 when your address changes? Sure, yes, okay. And then I'll say reminders to update W9s will be sent out every July from the city manager's office. There we go. And sorry, I'm just looking back at the initial. I'm now just like thinking about like security and privacy and things. W nines do have like social security numbers on them, right? Um, I had a form. I will pull it up. Hold on just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm like I should. <laughs> It has and then, yeah, name, and like, okay. name, business name, address, city. You could do your social security number. Yeah, yeah. It's your social security number. Yeah. And so just like then should, the W9s, it says like a committee member can turn this into, oh no, the stipend registration form into the chair or staff support. But yeah, forms and W-9 should be returned into the city manager's office for filing and storage, right? Okay, but so can people email the W-9s too? Can that be added to that process point two A? Okay. Does that make sense? The, the, when you sign a form like that, um, can you email something with, with, with a signature? Does, does it have to be somehow, does the original have to be filed? Uh, I, I you can email so. it. I'm pretty sure that's fine. Okay. Email. Okay, that is added. That it should be turned into or emailed directly to the city manager's office so it's not going through other people. Um, where would you like to see the fact? I think maybe on program start and continued enrollment to say the city of Montpelier has identified what was it thirty thousand dollars for 22? oh yeah talking about the yeah the max amount yep thirty thousand dollars and obviously i can edit this but i think it's important to call that out yeah um i love that cat what is that cat's name <laughs> hazel <laughs> i love it City of Montpelier has identified $30,000 for July 22 through July 2023 for this program. Stipends will be paid until funding has, what's a better word for run out? Exhausted. <laughs> Is exhausted. Notice will be sent out if this occurs through the city manager's office. Does that make sense? So what does that mean that you will continue paying and then um, if when the money is gone, it just is we stop in the middle of the year, for, for example? Yeah. 
and um, and it's possible then that somebody who you know so there will be unequal payments because somebody might get you know so sneak under you know get, just get in under the wire and then other people who are applying the same month don't get anything yeah that could yeah, yeah. kind of by submission right yeah okay I think it's important to say that you know this you may the, that the money may run out before the year runs out. I I, I agree with that, for sure. Uh, whenever. So I said, okay, the city of Montpelier has identified thirty thousand dollars for July twenty two to twenty three for this program. Stipends will be paid until funding exa is exhausted whenever that may occur. Mm -hmm. Notice will be sent out if this occurs through the city manager's office. Uh, just one change of one word instead of identifies allocated. Thank you. Red. Would we want to give like notice when there's five thousand? I mean, that's just like two. It's like it's can the city give notice when there's like five thousand dollars left or something? Or what would that change? I don't think that I don't think that we need yeah. to do that. That's the next yeah. job it doesn't have yep. to happen. Thanks. Just had to say it out loud. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I do that too. <laughs> <laughs> And then can I ask about the retroactively part here? So it's like, can we maybe read retroactively in July once an IRS form is submitted, but then on the next sentence, it says, you know, payments will not be made retroactively with the exception of the startup period as the program begins. See the chart below for deadlines. And so one- Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I had a chart oh, no. and then I took it out. Great, sorry. so delete that. But so that is it just like will be made retroactively for the first month of the enrollment period where and so that'd be like July 2022. Yeah, so and the then, idea would be like if all y'all say Pellin, I'm gonna pick on you. Pellin wants to um it's July, it's the, it's the, your first meeting in July. She learns about this project. She wants to sign up for it. So she fills it out. She fills out all her forms. She would then be eligible to ask for funding for that meeting in July. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. And so no matter when she turned in her W-9, I don't want it to be like, and so I hope it reads December. this way. Right, yeah. Right. Like you you sign up. Yeah, exactly. Helen finds out about, she decides five months after July, like in December, that she wants to be part of this, she doesn't get to retroactively go back to July and say, I want payment for all of those meetings. I think going to all these meetings, yeah. So payments will begin upon receipt of the stipend registration form and will not be made retroactive for any period beyond the first month. Any does that I I'm how do I how am I saying I don't know if I'm saying this right prior to it does does this need to be in the policy is it confusing to people is it just like pay, could it just be more like payment will be available for the first meeting at which you yeah sign up for or something like that's not the right wording but um yeah i'm just thinking like for like the montpelier community foundation like we're not meeting in july we're meeting in you know september or whatever and so if they you know do the announcement at the first meeting in september and someone applies for it then and then the next meeting's in november so like then they would they would fill out the form and be able to retroactively apply for that first meeting in september you know, just also thinking about the, yeah, the meetings that don't meet monthly and it's not, you know, they're more ad hoc. Um, so it's like, it would, it, would it instead be payments upon receipt of the stipend registration form will not be made retroactively 
with the exception of the initial meeting of 20 of FY22. Does that make sense? Or my, am I making this unnecessarily complicated too? Do we just I think, say, yeah, it will I not think be made retroactively, have... full stop, <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's what I, we should do is just take that out and say, you know, stipend payments will not be made retroactively in any way. It's just after you fill out your stipend registration form, you're on that list. Does that make more sense? It would be easier for us. Yeah, I think it does, and I think I think you could. You don't have to say retroactively. So payments begin after the, after the the forms of the W nine has been received, and that and that makes it very clear. You don't have to deal with this business about retroactive. Okay, so it says City of Montpelier program will begin on July one, twenty twenty two. Payments will begin upon receipt of the stipend registration form and the W nine. I think that's the simplest way and it makes it very clear. Okay, thanks y'all, that's helpful. Can you say that again? I was distracted of what the language The City of Montpelier program will begin on July 1, 2022. Payments will begin upon receipt of the stipend registration form and the W-9. Great. Okay. That's very that's helpful. Getting, that's like getting to the intent of it too, is that like we're trying to get people who don't feel like they have been able to participate to be able to participate. So if people apply before joining, then they get it starting from day one. And if not, there are people who have been volunteering for years before, you know, reckon, knowing that this was available. And so that doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel like we're being sneaky. It feels like it's in line with the intention. Yeah. But people who are already on boards can apply for it, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not saying that they're excluded, but 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 they can't. But yeah, all right. They're encouraged to, but yeah, but it's just like they have been volunteering. Probably yeah. one more meeting is not going to be the make or break for people being able to volunteer. Let's hope not. <laughs> yeah, I know. Golly. One other quick question. I know Cameron's got to drop now. Um, do so. Have you looked at the like application form? So this like policy and stuff seems great. It seems like the there will there be like a line added to the you know when you apply to be appointed <laughs> that form. Oh 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 oh. Seems like there should be something oh, other than that, or I don't know. I don't remember if there's other like materials people see or get when they're considering applying to um, to boards and commissions. But it is a very obnoxious inbuilt form into our website, and I will have to mess with that. And so I I agree that there should be something and says like contact your like would you be interested in this stipend or maybe there hey there's a stipend program you can apply for. I don't know how it'll work, so I will investigate and I will let you know next meeting. So what I'll do right now is keep these in draft form, but I will send them right back out with the edits that we made. And then I've got to run to this other meeting. Um, uh, yeah. So thank you, Michael, for taking minutes. You're welcome. And then I do wonder with this, too, can, we, can there be a email or phone number if you have questions about this like there's the 211 for in general but like just like how to contact the city with questions about this program and then it can Which, could there be like a landing page on the website that would have all of this information um you know so yes. it's not reliant on um the chairs to get it out but we can if people contact the city you can say yep here's the link to or you know here's all of the here's all the forms that you need here's the registration form and the attendance record and the w9s and all that i will um, sorry i know you have to go no <laughs> it's fine i will make a note that that is something we need to do once this is all finalized yeah questions about this policy and be directed to the city's website or no to the city manager's office and then i will include numbers email but that won't 
later. And then uh, more information can be found at the city's website here. Link, all right, so I will, there'll be a few things that need um, finalizing like that and figuring out who else gets paid in the city, I don't know. And uh, that's in a pretty good place for right now, I think. Cool. So let me send those out to y'all again and then head over to this Montpelier Live meeting or, you know. Do we want Do we want to vote on these changes today so that when we had talk about it at the meeting, we can be clear or are we going to postpone um, postpone voting on this until we've had a chance to look at everything and and meet and meet next time. Folks Which, might have feedback, um, but it won't hurt to approve the changes. So what, yeah, I think let's approve it. If, if Cameron can send them out right now, let's approve the changes of the committee now, and then we can always make more changes pending feedback from the Monday meeting. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you. This was really useful. I will see you in uh, Monday. <laughs> yeah. See you soon. All right. All right. I Thank just you. got the Bye. email with the updated language. Um, should we pull that up and read that over again before? Okay. Let me. I. I've got one screen and it's getting very crowded. Because <laughs> it's my laptop, so it's not even a big screen. Yeah. Well, I haven't received it yet. You may have to refresh. Sometimes mine goes oh, slow. Just got it. Okay. Great. So the only things I'm noticing, or sorry, I can keep waiting. Nope. Oop.
Michael, did you have you received it? I have received. Yes, I did. Great, receive great, it. great. Are we good to discuss real quick? So I think of just putting in the address. Oh, I have a safe way. <laughs> Bless you. Putting in an address for where to send the W9 form. And then obviously I was like, oh, and there's still things like highlighted in yellow that we need to figure out. And so um, it's not totally finalized. So I don't know if that means it makes sense to vote on. And it probably does. So we can't vote on it now because there's still things that need to be updated um right or yeah go ahead Lauren just one other thing I noticed in number two it says all volunteers elected or appointed to the board blah 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 must commit must complete the boards and committee stipend registration form I think it should say like all volunteers interested in receiving the stipend blah 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 blah, blah. so you don't have to fill this yes. out yep so I, you don't need to have a site been to serve. Yeah. Good catch. I guess I would probably put it after all volunteers elected or appointed, blah, 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 who, or commission who are interested in receiving the stipend must complete the board and committee stipend registration form. And I, I editable version. I don't. <laughs> I'm just saying that those words out loud. I don't know if you want me to type them up and send them to Cameron. If we have an editable version. Sorry, Michael. I'm not going to put this in the minutes. Okay, it went by too fast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just I'll say that there are additional changes to be made. Right. And like, and there's things that just like, we don't have at all. So, okay. Maybe I'll type this up into Santa Cameron real quick. Okay. Um, two additional changes. One. Where to send the W9. And two, can you say the language? Um, yeah. So number two, that I don't know how to write it efficiently. Here, why don't I, I'll uh, put it in the chat. the all caps who are interested in receiving the stipend in the chat is the added link phrase. And that goes where? That's number two in the process. In number two, yes, okay, and um, and as the as the uh, as an addition to the, the the first sentence or under A. Um, the, as an addition to the first sentence. Okay.
All right. Any other changes on any of this language? Are there notes to make? I mean, that only, I think the attendance thing might turn into a mess. So I could see that evolving over time. If there's there's got to be some easier way to like check off some online form or a quick like, yes, people were there. I don't know, something that puts a lot of work on all the chairs to remember to do attendance forms now. Also. Well, they could just, they could circulate the attendance form at the meeting and then come back to the chair before they go, everybody just sign in. Yeah, it's just remembering yeah, to do this like in person thing. and all the, yeah, and well, sending it in after and, yeah. But we've learned, we've learned, you know, we have to, um, you know, ask the agenda, we have to ask the agenda. I mean, it's, it's going to be a learning process, but, but um, at least there will be, uh, while that learning is going on, there'll be, they will eventually be minutes that show up. And so the, if there's an interest, of, if a problem, then whoever took the minutes um, will, uh, includes the people who are there. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Or as Gil Godnick used to say, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we move on to the other pieces? Is that okay to move to the presentation? Um, so I didn't get any other language from folks. I did just throw in some photos last night to make it pretty, um, but I uh, yeah didn't know if folks had a chance to look it over and make any edits and or add in your own pieces. So um, I'll take a moment to have folks flip through that, I think. I have one uh, rec one suggestion. Yep. Um, when we get when we get to the point about the um, discussion, uh, I I dropped the ball in communicating with Jeremy, so I don't know yet what, what we're thinking about. How much time per person are we giving, um, and do we want to put that in the discussion so people can kind of prepare prepare for just doing it really quickly. I don't think you dropped the ball. Jeremy's been on vacation. So I think he's been incommunicado. 
Um, oh. But I think that's a great, great point of just like, and I think we might not be able to do that until everyone's there to say, okay, we have this many people, you know, keep your comments okay. to this long. So. Based on the number. I'm just putting this in the comment section of the PowerPoint. Um, I see that happening, like, okay. Oh yeah, happening live, exactly. Actually, yeah, I can make this editable. We can edit this in the meeting if anyone, um, I'll just have to lock it again afterwards. Okay, uh, it's now editable. So if anyone has any other edits to make, we are in open meeting now. Um, okay, Jeremy communicate this based on the number of people in attendance and Michael to keep time. A couple thoughts. Um, for the slide number five, where it says gaps in sense of belonging, I feel like the way it's worded, it makes it seem like there was a 68% gap in sense of belonging for, so maybe I'm trying to think of how to reword it, like maybe sense of belonging, like maybe just sense of belonging. And you, as whoever is describing this slide, I think this is part of your intro, maybe Shana. Yeah. Um, you could like that. Show like there was clearly a gap among different communities in the, um, within the city. Um, and then, like for the equity assessment, like looking through the list, which I was like, I wonder if we should put like one of each of those categories up at a time and like give a couple examples of some of the works. Like I look at it, I'm like, oh, like it's there's there's been progress a little. We've been like plugging through a lot, <laughs> a lot of things. Yeah, and there's like so much to do still, and like there's like examples we could point to of like what we've been doing to act on things probably I think within each of them um or there's stuff in the works like the city's getting a new website and you know making it accessible is a big priority or so I, I don't know like obviously that's going to be like virtually impossible to read so I don't know if it's if the idea is just there were a lot of recommendations a lot of recommendations or do we want like, <laughs> but one you know one per slide, like the operational, relational, structural, which will still be a lot of words, but you could like almost even like bold or highlight like a couple of examples within that and or like put them in a different color or something and say like, for example, here's some of the operational pieces that we've been working on and here's, so I don't know what the goal is that you were thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was thinking of like, there's a lot of recommendations. Some of these are very easy. Some of these were a lot harder and um, like not a lot harder, but like are more structural. And some of these are, you know, we can just check the beat, check the box and be done. And some of them are much more, um, are, are, yeah, are more structural. I think that's how I would frame this. And then I think the next slide, slide seven, is where I'm like, here's what we've been focusing on. Here are like the changes that we are working on implementing that have, I think a lot of them too are also more internal and are more about like, like staff trainings and things. Um, and so like, here's some like changes that we would want to make, but I'm totally up for changing any and all of this. This is why we're doing this. So I mean, like, do you think it'd be better to have it be like one by one and be like, here are all of the, like, let's read over all of the recommendations and yeah, pull them out. Does that make sense? Or I, I, I agree with Lauren. If you take the, uh, the slide six and make and it, split it out and call it equity assessment recommendations. And then, yeah, each, each one of those three categories gets its own slide. Okay. And, and you can just, you know, sort of use the same heading and just call them A, B, and C, or one, two, and three, or something like that. Yeah, cool. Oopsies. And then, you know, instead of having them all look like a paragraph, just, you know, line them, them up. Out. Like, yeah. Oopsies. Okay, and I can do this after the meeting too, but. Like, one of the points that could be made, um, so, I, you know, I think like your idea of just, kind of like demonstrating there's a lot and they were both like operational within city and like more structural and some 
like all the points you just made. Um, but there, it's also like looking at it, it's not all the work of this committee, like it's, which for this yeah. meeting, yeah. like there was a whole police review committee. So there's a bunch of policing and there's like ongoing work to be done there, but like um, they might see things if they actually have time to read it quickly that are like, oh, that's actually the kind of thing my committee should be <laughs> working on. Right. Um, so one, other... Can you guys, can I ask her just to like jump in on this too, as we're going, if I'm like not capturing the key points here, like on mute uh, on Monday, I'm just like unmuting and jumping in. So that's not, okay. One other thing. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, and then I, I think the stipend slides are out of order. Is that right? Perhaps. Q&A. Well, and we should probably put in more of the materials that we just went over in today. So, well, I don't know if they're out of order. I don't know how you're thinking about it. They seem a little mishmashed to me. Yeah, I think we just need to put in more about like what are the stipends. Yeah. Um, when you uh, when you have the next step, uh, filling out the survey, has that survey been sent out, or how is that going to be distributed? Are you I gonna... still don't think it's been finalized by Peta Discourse. So, but yeah, it's it's like ready to go. Um, so. Here's the link for that. So Shayna, we, we don't have that much time. I just want to say this. Uh, sh should we uh, put some time on the first slide, which says not the first, but agenda? Yeah. And it will also answer the Michael's question, right? How many minutes? So then people might have some kind of general idea for each section. Yeah. I thought I had that written out somewhere, but I'm not, I was trying to pull it up earlier. So this is like not quite, you know, the background is a little bit not user friendly. Um, anyway, um, so it's basically like, we wanna have a lot of time for discussion, right? So at least 90 minutes for this, right? The whole meeting is 90 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Do we know yet, do we know yet how many people are coming? Um, I think they said a bunch of people had RSVP'd. Let me see if I can pull that up. Nope. 40 people have been invited. I don't see if anyone has RSVP'd besides myself. <laughs> but I think Cameron said that she had gotten RSVPs. I just am not seeing them on the Google meeting, on the, on the Google calendar. Right? Yeah. yeah, discussion might be like 50 minutes, right? Then the... Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Then Michael can arrange the timing, right? Okay. Right. We have a total of 50 minutes. I don't know, five minutes to each person. Um, well, I like talking a lot. So <laughs> five minutes won't be enough for me, but probably everybody will be respecting the time. Well, All right, I do have the mind. Oh, go ahead. 
um, it's going to be it's going to be tricky getting all that in, depending upon how how many different committees there are that are represented. Um, oh yeah. Well, we have Zoom, so like if they need to break, go into breakout rooms, but I think we, we found last meeting that it was really helpful to have everyone together. So. Well, you lose time when you go into into breakout rooms, right? Um, if we just sort but of then everyone definitely gets a chance to go kind of thing. Yeah. I'm just assuming that Jeremy will at some point have a list and he'll, he will call on people. Um, so, yeah. that, so it's not this, who's next? And you know, that kind of twiddling your thumbs waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I just facilitated a meeting like that where I was like, I'm committed to not calling on people. And then it was disastrous. Anyway, sorry. What do you anticipate as evaluation here? You have your, it's on the oh, I'm just like, how did this meeting go? Any recommendations for next time? So, you know, I think that I would prefer, I, I think it's very difficult to do evaluation as a group, but you know, just ask people to send comments. Yeah. Uh, rather than, you know, have a conversation about it right right away. And that will give us a little extra time. Great. Or you can you can uh, make a form if you want and um, uh, and you know they can they can print it out. Um, Helen, I believe that is your section. Do you feel good about, yeah, like for evaluation, having people email your thoughts and comments or making a form? I thought we are just talking about, oh, we have talked this, this, this. Yeah. So thank you There's for your step. comments. I thought the evalu evaluation would be like that. But if you are talking about like exit survey or something, then I can just prepare something, right? which which one do we want i know i know you that we will we will take the response later than the meeting so we don't have to put evaluation there then yeah i i think you can you mention you know make sure that you mention it and please please send us an evaluation um but I think if, given that, given the, the restrictions on the amount of time doing it as a group, uh, we, we, won't, we won't make it. Okay. I will prepare uh, something this week and by, uh, by weekend, then I can share it with Shayna. Okay. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Great, I'm gonna lock this down. Um, Lauren, I know we're out of time, but do you want to just say one word about the meeting tomorrow? I cannot make the meeting tomorrow. So, um, The Homelessness Task Force is hosting a meeting talking about, at least inspired by the like challenges around the Girton Park structure that's like next to the drawing board and issues that various community members are raising about I think what should happen with that particular structure, but I think just like broader issues around, um, you know, how we're kind of dealing. I don't know. I don't know the total scope of the meeting. Um, obviously, the homelessness task force is like thinking broadly about how we're um, supporting people experiencing homelessness in our community. Um, but it was it's kind of sparked by that and i hope they're ho they're hoping to get like a variety of perspectives there's a lot of people upset about what's happening there's people obviously who use the structure and so i i know that they particularly wanted to um, invite this group um to come and you know if anyone's available so it is i believe um 6 30 to 8 p.m tomorrow um April 7th, and there's both a Zoom option and I think an in-person option at City Hall in the City Council Chambers. Um, so I'm planning to Zoom in. Um, I can't be there in person, but I will be on Zoom. But if anyone else is interested, I think it would be great. Great. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Shana. Thank you, Lauren. Suggested just reordering a little bit of the stipend slides. Um, awesome. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thanks for sending those edits. So, thank you for pulling this all together. All right. I've got to hop. I'm sorry. I'm just like, ah, nine o'clock. Let's see things. Okay. See you all. See you. Bye. Take care.